We have already performed really well with stage 4. 0.93 horsepower is already 66% more power than the original, but that's not enough for me. My goal is to get over 1 horsepower. I thought long and hard about what the biggest bottleneck is at the moment. After all, we want to achieve another significant leap in performance. Let's think back to stage 4 and what we did. We installed larger valves and enlarged the ports. We have enlarged the intake track to 6.8 millimeters, but retained the 6 millimeter carburetor. We should therefore mount a larger carburetor. What makes me think that this can work? We had the same problem with the stage two. The carburetor was too small. We then modified the intake manifold and fitted a six millimeter carburetor instead of a five millimeter one. We were able to increase the power from 0.66 to 0.81 horsepower, so why shouldn't it work again? So I fired up the CAD and designed a larger intake manifold. I used my tried and tested OS4C 8mm carburetor. This is certainly large enough in cross section. Then I started making the intake manifold. First, I turned the blank on my lathe, then I milled the contour. The contour is now finished and corresponds one-to-one -to, -one to the shape of the original OS intake manifold. Next step is to drill the holes for the screws. We are now finished with the intake manifold. It also looks really good mounted with the carburetor. Now we have an eight instead of six millimeter carburetor for our tuning OS FS 40S. Let's see what it brings. I have screwed the whole thing to the engine. The question now is how well does our OSFS40S run in its now fifth tuning stage? Let's fire it up. Very good. It runs very well and you can feel and see how it suddenly gets up to speed when you open the carb. I'm very optimistic about the power output. It just broke. The cylinder head broke off at the transition to the intake manifold. We have exceeded the limit. The motor is now broken, but we're lucky. As some of you may have noticed, the flywheel for measuring the power output was mounted in a previous picture, means there are measurement data available. These measurement curves were created when I adjusted the carburetor. They are probably not the limit, but show where the journey would have gone. We achieved 1.01 horsepower and a torque of 0.54 Newton meters. Maximum speed is at approximately 19,000 RPM. Yes! Yes! We were able to increase the output from 0.93 to 1.01 horsepower. The torque remained the same. The maximum speed increased slightly from 17,800 to 19,000 RPM. We increased the power again by 10%. Compared to the original OS FS40s, we were even able to increase the power by 80%. This is it. We are at the end of this project. I hope you enjoyed this series. I don't know whether I will repair the engine, but I'm not going to do it at the moment. Other projects will now follow. Finally, I can only say that I hope you enjoyed the video and that you like this project as much as I do. Please share and subscribe.